On the planet Kala, Jedi Master Depa Balaba is joined by her Padawan, Caleb, who arrives with reinforcements, the Bad Batch, who take out the surrounding battle droids with ease. Following this, they receive reports that Obi-Wan Kenobi has engaged Grievous on Utapau. Not long after, Palpatine issues Order 66, with the Jedi's clones turning on her. Witnessing his master's death, Caleb scarpers. Crosshair attempts to kill the child, but he escapes with the help of Hunter. The squad return to Kamino to learn that the war has ended, finding the regs to be acting strange. Tech notes that they have been programmed to follow orders with no question, of which they may well be immune. The Batch meet Omega, Nala Se's medical assistant, as Tarkin arrives on Kamino. Palpatine questions the need for clones when a volunteer army with equal numbers would be half the cost, sending Tarkin to evaluate their usefulness. The Batch pass a combat efficiency test, but Tarkin remains concerned over their obedience levels, setting them a mission to hunt a group of insurgents in the Onderon sector. Hunter and his team quickly realize they're no longer fighting the Separatists, finding Saul Guerrera and a group of Republic fighters instead. Refusing to act despite Crosshair's insistence, they return to Kamino, despite Omega's warnings not to. Tech reveals she too is an enhanced clone, with Hunter wanting to rescue her. As they arrive, Crosshair is taken away after showing loyalty to the Empire, with Tarkin asking that his chip be intensified. The Batch escape with Omega, with Crosshair sent after them. The crew meet with an old friend, Cut Laquane. With troopers arriving already, Cut has booked a trip off world for his family, but the Empire has brought in a chain code system. Tech gets hold of some, with Hunter wanting Omega to go with Cut and his family and stay safe, but she doesn't want to. On Kamino, the clones are slowly being replaced, with the first elite squad of volunteers formed, led by Crosshair. Meanwhile, Wrecker begins to experience headaches. Admiral Rampart is put in charge of this new soldier initiative as the Kaminoan Prime Minister speaks of a secret mission to ensure their continued worth to the Empire. The Jango Fett DNA is degrading and they need something superior. Stopping on Pantora, the crew needs rations, however their whereabouts are reported to a bounty hunter. She attempts to capture Omega, but Hunter stops her as she retreats, reporting back to her employer. The crew seek out an old Jedi informant, Sid, who may know why a bounty hunter is after Omega. They must do a job for her first though. They rescue a kid named Mucho from Zygurian slavers. On the mission, Omega picks up a new weapon as they return to Sid. She reveals the hunter is Fennec Shand. She's new, but good. Sid gives them a new mission, to retrieve a tactical droid from a decommissioning facility on Corellia. They locate the droid, but it's stolen by sisters Rafa and Trace. With the compound swarmed with droids, they work together to escape, but the tactical droid gets destroyed in the process. Hunter gives the copied intel tech retrieved to them, as they are to use it against the Empire. Thanks to info from Rafa and Trace, Rex tracks the Bad Batch down to Sid's bar. He's concerned they have not yet taken their inhibitor chips out. With Tech's help, they develop a way to remove the chip safely, but they need the Tech on board a Star Cruiser, traveling to a junkyard controlled by the Scrapper Guild. Before Tech can remove the chip, Wrecker turns on them, his chip finally activating. They manage to subdue him and perform the procedure, one by one removing the others. Rex leaves them, getting back to work as the Scrappers see them, notifying the Empire. The Empire arrive but the crew escape. Hunter and Omega make it back to the ship to find Cat Bane. He immobilizes Hunter, capturing Omega. Bane heads to the rendezvous point to deliver Omega to his employers, the Kaminoans. They just need her genetic material, then she shall be terminated, as Tech discovers she is a pure genetic replication of Django Fett. There's only one other like her, Boba. Omega escapes, contacting the crew before being recaptured by Bane and confronted by Fennec Shand. 
As they fight, Omega is able to get picked up by her brothers. Shad contacts her employer, Nala Sei, who is trying to keep the child away from Prime Minister Lama Su. After the Raxus senator speaks out against the Empire, he's imprisoned, leading to the Bad Batch being hired to locate and free him. They do so, convincing him to come along despite his wish to not abandon his people. On Ryloth, the Empire establishes a refinery as Harrison Dula joins her uncle on a supply run collecting weapons from the clone crew. As they return, they are shot down by Crosshair being arrested. Here his parents rescue the young girl sending her away with Chopper as reinforcements arrive to take them away. With Crosshair after her, Hera contacts Clone Force 99 for help. They attack the refinery to distract from their rescue attempt, with Crosshair asking Admiral Rampart for permission to hunt his old crewmates down. The group return to find Sid's parlor is under new management. Roland, a former client and son of crime boss Issa Durand, is working with the Pikes, gathering them spice. Sid approaches the crew to get her parlor back, stealing the spice. Returning their product, Sid returns to her old job and Durand and the Pikes go on their way. Rex contacts the Batch needing their help after receiving a distress signal from old friend Gregor. Meanwhile, the Empire cancels all contracts with the Kaminoans, with the PM rushing to leave. Clone Force 99 find Gregor inside a military base where he was instructing the first stormtroopers. They escape without Hunter as he orders them to leave. The Kaminoans are caught trying to leave whilst Crosshair arrives to transfer Hunter. He takes him back to Kamino, expecting the crew to come and get their friend. They do, with Omega guiding them through secret tunnels from Nala Se's private lab, where they find AZ. The crew are surrounded, with Crosshair revealing he felt betrayed by them, killing his own troopers. He asks his brothers to join the Empire, but is disrupted by Omega, who turns on the battle simulator. Together they defeat the droids, as Crosshair reveals his inhibitor chip was removed. He's not being controlled. Hunter stuns him, and they grab him, retreating back to the ship. However, Rampart orders his forces to fire on the abandoned Kaminoan facility. AZ helps guide them through the sinking base, back to Nala Se's lab. The tunnel back to the ship is destroyed, however, forcing the depleted AZ to direct them up to the surface through the falling debris. Omega is hit, however, forcing him to dive deeper. He loses all power, with Omega going after him, losing consciousness. Crosshair fires a grapple into the water, retrieving them both. Hunter offers Crosshair a place with them once more, but he refuses, staying put as the others climb aboard. Meanwhile, Nala Se arrives on the planet Wayland, escorted into an Imperial base, ready to work for the Empire. 